is Karen. Welcome to another Doolally Crafts. This time I'm going to be trying 10 cards in 20 minutes. Now I've pre-done everything so it works as a production line. This is the card that I'm going to make. Now I'm just, as I said, I've already pre-done everything so I've already got this paper done and, and whatnot but I will show you how I did it. The colours that I'm using are Pink Pirouette, Smoky Slate, Blushing Bride and Sweet Sugar Plum. Now, what I did, and also the, um, the stamp sets I'm using are Papillon Potpourri, Falling Flowers and One Big Meaning. Now, what I did was got a piece of very vanilla cardstock to start off with, mounted my butterfly, the large one, on a block and just stamped randomly all over and turning, you'll notice, the butterfly around as I go. I'm even stamping off the paper so that it looks, or it will look more like um, proper um, continuous um, DSP, designer paper. Then that was in Blushing Bride, and then this one is in Sweet Sugar Plum. So you get the idea. Then after the Sweet Sugar Plum, I went to pink pirouette and stamped some large flowers in pink pirouette over it and then just to finish it off I went back to the blushing bride and stamped some smaller flowers over the paper as you can see and that was out how I made my own DSP. Now I also mounted the tiny feelers antenna for the butterfly and I used my stamp majig because um, it makes it it's difficult to get the antenna lined up although I did figure out if I moved it down a little bit, I could stamp like that and I almost get it right. So that's how I put all of my own DSP together. So I'll just move all of this out the way. I'll finish that one off later. The best way to do these cards is form a production line. So I have all of my card blanks, all the sizes can be find, found on my blog. All the card blanks are there. Then we've got our matte layer. I've got all of my sentiments stamped out. And then my DSP has all been cut to size. I've also got um, 10 ribbons cut to size to wrap around the layer and also another 10 strips to form the bow. So now we're all ready to go. So I will bring in my handy dandy uh, tablet. As you can see, we've got gorgeous weather today. Thunderstorms, rain, the clouds are overhead. Um, at the moment it's not raining outside but you might notice it's starting to go overcast here then all of a sudden the sun will come out from behind the clouds and this will all be nice and bright it's almost half past six so normally I've got the sun streaming through here at the moment okay enough chatter let's get this show on the road so open it up and We'll go to stopwatch, hang on, timer, we'll add a time, so I want 10, uh, 20 minutes, not hours, oops, you can tell I use this a lot, not 
Okay, so we'll go to 20 minutes. Ooh, I'm going round and round in circles here. I'm spinning too quickly. Okay, so there we've got 20 minutes. So we'll click on start and that's going to start winding, counting down. So move all of these off to the side because we don't need the bases just yet. All we need are these. So out with my snail. As I said, all of if you want the sizes and everything, all the sizes can be found on my blog. And if you can if it's not at the top when you see this video, if you go to my blog and it's you know a few months or even a few years down the track and you can't find it on my blog, all you need to do is type in one big meaning or um, what did I say the other ones were? One big meaning, uh, falling flowers or papillon potpourri in the search bar and any cards that I've made with any of those stamp sets will come up on a page and then you can just scroll through and you will find this eventually or you can just pop in 10 cards in 20 minutes and I can't see myself doing too many of them so the ones that I do do will come up on that search page okay oh we're already almost two minutes down We've had a busy weekend here this weekend. My daughter's had a friend staying over. So hubby and I have been cast out to our bedroom to watch TV so they could play music through Foxtel. And if you can hear the TV, it's because my husband, once he's in the room, he doesn't like to move from one spot so he's actually still even though my daughter's friends gone home now because the sleepover was last night he's still in the bedroom watching sports we're getting closer to um, the Melbourne Cup here in Australia the race that stops the nation as it's titled so he's watching all the horse racing on the TV so that he knows which horses are going to race really well if they're in the Melbourne Cup. So for the next week or so everything will be about the Melbourne Cup in our house. Now you'll see that some of the cards have got the Blushing Bride as a background and I decided to bring in one of our in colours which is the uh, Sweet Sugar Plum as another mat. Now the reason I'm putting the sentiments down first is because they've been cut just a little bit bigger than the pattern pieces. Just so that I know I'm not going to have any gaps. Not that you'll see them anyway because they're hidden under the ribbon. These are going to go really nicely. I'll probably end up donating these to the church like the last time I went through and made a heap of thank you cards. I make them quite regularly and donate them to our church so that um, there's always cards available for the elders to give out to people. Some of them are thank you cards but they can also be thinking of you cards if somebody's going through a hard time. It's a good way to use up cardstock or DSP that 
I don't use very often so that I can clear out stock to bring more stock in. Okay, we're down to the last of the matting. I had a bit of a chuckle with my daughter today. Uh, we were going through and having a look at how many views my <laughs> four cards in ten minute fail actually had on YouTube. And I was quite surprised at the number, despite it being a fail video, I actually had, as of today, over 500 views on it, which gave me a bit of a chuckle. But when we saw how much money I'd made, I just couldn't stop laughing. As of today, with the 500 odd views, <laughs> I've made 53 cents from YouTube. Oh, I don't know, small things amuse small minds. Okay, so now we're moving on to putting the ribbon on. So a little bit of snail just to hold the base ribbon in place. This ribbon is discontinued, unfortunately, because I think it's gorgeous. But it's also a bit of an optical illusion too. Because it's a chevron ribbon, ribbon the, um, the wider part of the chevron makes it look like the ribbon isn't the same width the whole way along. I don't know whether you can actually see that on the screen, but um, it plays, plays my, uh, it does my eyes in this actually. There we go. There's another one. I don't know how I'm going with this so far. Okay, we've got 12 and a half minutes to go. So I'm not doing too badly so far. That one's not straight. There we go. Flip it over. A bit of glue on the back there. Number five. Ooh. I hope you are enjoying my card series. I like actually making them. I like tutoring. I love the Stampin' Up! products. And I love getting a chance to sit down and make these cards when I do get the chance to. I actually make wedding invitations as well, so a lot of my time will be spent at times making up quite large numbers of the same um, the same invitation like 30, 40, 50 of them so when I can make a f just a couple of cards that are the same or actually making a number of cards that are all different it just I love the variety But I do still like making wedding invitations. I love seeing the look on brides' faces when you finally deliver their invitations. It just makes their wedding seem that much more tangible. Which is great. I actually had a ball at the beginning of the year. I made my eldest daughter's wedding invitations. So that was a special time for us. While I'm making these thank you cards, her and her husband, her new husband, are actually over in Europe on their honeymoon. So we're getting to see all these beautiful photos of Italy and France coming over Facebook. Okay, 
last one for the ribbon. Now I know I haven't done any stamping so far for this card, but I will be stamping some very shortly. So just flip those ends over. So that's all of the matting and the front of the cards put together. Now we'll bring in the bases. Bit of glue just on the back of the ribbon so that it holds it in place. I think I'm starting to run out of snail here. So there's one. very close to the end and there we go that one's a bit in the dust just grab These are looking really pretty already. A little bit of snail over the top of the ribbon to hold it in place. I hope I didn't just repeat myself. I have this nagging feeling that I did. Oops. A little bit more there. Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. Hubby's slightly deaf, so he's got the TV turned up quite loud in the room next to me. did occur to me when I looked at the results from my 10 in my 4 in 10 fail video when I got that one thumbs down it gave me a giggle but one thing occurred to me there's no room or if they've given you a thumbs down nobody ever comments why you got the thumbs down. I'd love to know. Oh, I'm one short. I would love to know whether I got a thumbs down because I failed to do the four in ten minutes or whether they just didn't like the cards I'd done. Because even though they gave me a thumbs down, they didn't actually say why. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Ah, there is one there. So, if you're the person that gave me a thumbs down, I'm not complaining. Okay, I'm back again. Sorry, the camera cut out. I don't know why. Yes, so if you're the person that gave me the thumbs down, I'm not angry about that. I'm not upset about it. I'm just curious. Is it because I didn't complete the challenge or was it because you didn't like the card? Okay. Just got, whoops. How many minutes have I got left? Okay, I've got five minutes, so we've got plenty of time here. So just fold them all over and score and crease. Whoops. Now these cards, if you didn't want to make your own DSP, you could actually use any type of DSP and just choose the colours from it to do your matting 
and for your stamping. Okay, now we've done this bit. All we've got to do now is thread the ribbon through the gap that we left in the sticky tape and just pull that tight. There we go, there's one. Oops. I think I cut these pieces of ribbon that little bit too short, but they are still just manageable. And if you really want to do, you could add a bit of blue to the front by going onto either the middle of the butterflies or the centre of the flowers, if you've got those showing, and just adding a rhinestone or even a basic pearl to the centre of the flowers, or even popping a couple of rhinestones onto the backs of the butterfly where their body is just to add a little bit of bling whoops to the cards okay we're getting down to the line now let's bring these over Quite sure how many minutes I've got left. Probably only two if I'm lucky. Yep, just under three minutes now. Just got another couple of cards to do. And then we've just got a little bit of stamping to do. doesn't want to fold you know that you're getting down close to the line when you start becoming a fumble fingers whoops really doesn't want to there we go one more and I will neaten these bows up a little bit okay two minutes to go just bring my scissors in and we'll give each of the ribbons a trim on the diagonal just to make the bows look a bit neater. seconds to go. I might go over by a minute or so but we are right down to the line now. one and I have 38 seconds okay but bring in the blushing bride and the sweet sugar plum and just to decorate the inside of each card they are blank note cards, so you've got oodles of room on the inside to actually write your message. 
and that's the 20 seconds are up. Uh, 20 minutes, not 20 seconds. Okay, that's one, two, three. Now one of these is the sample card. So those ones, that one's a blank. That one's a blank. That must be the, that's the sample. So that one can go over there and we'll just stamp. One, two, three, four, five. So there we go. That was all done in a minute. So if, it ha if I had, hadn't have chatted and concentrated more on what I was doing, I probably would have gotten all 10 of those done in the 20 minutes. But there we go. And there's the sample card. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that I've um, saved face with this one. Okay, until next time, bye-bye.